Okay, hello, hello. On the back of releasing my QR code generator the other day, I thought I'd do a quick demo video to show you what it can and can't do. Now you can access it through here on the homepage, the direct link, or of course you can hit the URL directly as you see fit. Now uh, today's release, or the release currently, is uh, a MAPI specific, the Android Management API. Uh, I did this because it was quick and easy to get to market. Um, later down the line, we'll probably look at supporting uh, a wider array of DPCs and what have you, since it's very much configurable on the back end JSON. It's just a case of implementing the correct fields. So the intention behind the generator is to offer an alternative to what EMMs offer today. Um, a lot of EMM platforms do some of the configuration and um, sort of flexible options uh, provided with the uh, QR code generation, but a lot of them don't. Uh, and the intention here is that you would fetch the enrollment token from your EMM, pop it into this form, uh, along with a couple of the additional options that you want to set here, and then we'll send it off to the charts API Google offers, um, and it returns a QR code as well as the JSON payload that you can then do what you want with. So um, this form doesn't store any of your information. If you do refresh the page, everything vanishes. That's intentional because I have no interest in what you input here, uh, only that you obviously leverage the tool itself. Now, occasionally Google's Charts API, because it is a deprecated API, uh, it can be a little bit unstable. So if you find that a QR code is not loading, sorry, um, try again later. At some point, I'll swap the Charts API with something of a worker um, that I'll roll myself and uh, and we'll have sort of in-house uh, capabilities there which will also potentially allow me to uh, offer a little bit more support in things like EAP and other uh, additional fields that currently make uh, Google's Charts API QR code too long to generate. So uh, you can input your token here now the token is not mandatory necessarily. You can obviously go down to the bottom here, generate the QR code, and it will give you a generic JSON payload. But if you're provisioning a device like this, it'll get partway through and interrupt the flow to ask you to scan another QR code with an enrollment token embedded. So we can save time here by ensuring that it's, it's popped in ahead of time. Uh, I've got a token there. Um, and then I'm going to configure a few options. So we can enable system apps and we can force the use of mobile network while provisioning. The latter being um, particularly useful if you're in an environment where there is no Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, in fact, I'll undo that one and I'll say offline provisioning. Um, locale and time zone are useful if you're doing staging ahead of sending devices out to another region or location. So for example, I could set uh, German as the locale and then put Berlin as the time zone. Now, as the devices provision and set themselves up, initially they'll be in whatever language they're configured to be in out of the box. But as the provisioning process goes on, it'll switch at some point uh, to the set locale here, as long as obviously the locale and time zones are valid. Now, optionally, you can also embed Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't support EAP, as I mentioned earlier, because it's making QR codes a little bit too big to generate reliably at the moment, but I'll look at uh, offering these options a little bit down the line. In the interim, we have WPA, WEP, and Open Network Support. And then, of course, you can add PAC um, or proxy information as you see fit, and then you hit Generate QR. Right, so that's generated a QR code. You can now right click on this and save the image, and then you can use it wherever, however you want to. You also have the generated JSON below this, so you can highlight everything, copy it off, and paste it into another service or solution. And it is effectively as simple as that. If you want to make a change, you can regenerate the QR code, and you'll also notice that the JSON has updated as well. And again, as I said at the beginning, if you refresh the page, everything vanishes. So there we go. Give it a whirl. Let me know how you uh, how you get on with it. And of course, if you've got any feedback, you can 
hit this little link down here, which will take you to the page in question. And that will also allow you to create issues and what have you associated to it. Nice one. Cheers.